Hello students, hi everyone. Once again, welcome to my channel, Competitive Maths by Balaji. Yesterday, we are going to part 6 of Exponential Powers. It is about solutions of questions of XS 4.1 from 5 to 10. Okay. Yes. Part 6 of Exponential Powers. For XS 4.1 from question number 5. Simplify and give reasons. First one, 3 power 2 minus 2 power 2 divided by 1 by 5 whole square equal to. solution yes we are given 3 square minus 2 square divided by 1 by 5 whole square we know that 3 square nothing but 9 3 occurs 2 times in the product 3 3 are 9 minus 2 square means 2 occurs 2 times in the product, 2 2 are 4. Change the division symbol to multiply symbol. And write, consider the reciprocal of 1 by 5, that is 5 by 1. And we have whole power 2. That equals 9 minus 4, that is 5 into 5 whole square. 5 5 are 25. 25 whole square that is we know that a power n equal to practical meaning of a power n is a occurs a occurs n times in the product a occurs n times in the product so 25 square means 25 occurs 2 times in the product now 25 25s are 625. Okay. Right. Second question. Solution. 5 square whole cube into 5 power 4 divided by 5 power 6. Yeah. We are given 5 square whole power 3 into 5 power 4 divided by 5 power 6 which is equal since we know that a power m whole power n equal a power m into n by using this law of exponent 5 square whole cube can be written as 5 power 2 into 3 2 3 is 6 into 5 power 4 divided by 5 power 6 and also we know that since a power m into a power n equal to a power m plus n that is when bases are equal in between symbol is multiplication then power should be added see here the expression within the bracket 5 power 6 into 5 power 4 that is Bases are equal, in between them is multiplication symbol, then power should be added. 6 plus 4, that is 10, divided by 5 power 6. The expression or division can be written as 5 power 10, divided by 5 power 6. Yes, 5 power 10, divided by 5 power 6, nothing but 5 power 10, divided by 5 power 6. Since we know that A divided by B, is nothing but a by b okay yes and also we know that formula a power m over a power n is equal to a power m minus n if m is greater than n yes if m is greater than n the exponent m is greater than n then the expression value a power m over a power n equal to a power m minus n. That is, we have to consider difference of exponents m and n when m is greater than n. See here, in the numerator, the exponent of phi is 10, in the denominator it is 6. And we know that 10 is greater than 6. 10 is greater than 6. That implies by using this law of exponent we have to consider 5 power difference of these two exponents that is 10 minus 6 
5 power 10 minus 6 is 4. Which means by using this formula, a power n equal to a occurs n times in the product. That is 5 power 4 means 5 occurs 4 times in the product. 4 times in the product. 5 5s are 25. Again, 5 5s are 25. 25 25s are 625. Okay. So, the value of given expression is equal to what? 625. Next question, 6 to 1 of exercise 4.1. Find the value of n in each of the following. We have three questions under the sixth question. First one, 2 by 3 whole power 3 into 2 by 3 whole power 5 equal 2 by 3 whole power n minus 2. And we have to find the value of n. Solution. Write down the given expression that is 2 by 3 whole power 3 into 2 by 3 whole power 5 is equal to 2 by 3 whole power n minus 2. And since we know that a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n, where a is a rational number, m comma n are integers. By using this formula, see here, the base 2 by 3, 2 by 3, that is, bases are equal in LHS side. Therefore, the power should be added. See here, bases are equal. In between them is multiplication symbol. Then power should be added in LHS side. 3 plus 5, which is equal to 2 by 3, whole power n minus 2 that is 2 by 3 whole power 3 plus 5 that is 8 is equal to 2 by 3 whole power n minus 2 and also we know that a power m equal to a power n that implies m equal to what? n that is in both sides LHS and RHS if bases are equal then power should be equal. See here, LHS and RHS, we have same base 2 by 3, 2 by 3. Therefore, their exponents power should be equal. By using this law of exponent, we can write 8 is equal to n minus 2. Transforming minus 2 to LHS, we get 8 plus 2 equal to n. Therefore, n equal to 8 plus 2 is 10. So that n value is equal to 10 in this case. Okay. Solution. We are given minus 3 power n plus 1 into minus 3 power 5 equal to minus 3 power minus 4. Write on the given expression that is minus 3 power n plus 1 into minus 3 power 5 equal to minus 3 power minus 4. We know that a power m into a power n equal a power m plus n. Since in LHS we have bases are equal then power should be added so that minus 3 power so here we have bases are equal power should be added n plus 1 plus 5 n plus 1 plus 5 is equal to minus 3 power minus 4 that implies minus 3 power add the like terms in the exponent 1 plus 5 6 n plus 6 is equal to what minus 3 power minus 4 and also we know that if a power m equal to a power n that implies m equal to n. That is, in LHS and RHS, if bases are equal, then power should be equal. Here we have LHS and RHS, the same base minus 3, they are equal. Therefore, their exponents are also equal. That is, n plus 6 is equal to what? Minus 4. By using this law of property. That implies, n equal to transpose plus 6 to RHS we get minus 4 plus term will become 
negative term that is n equal minus 4 minus 6 both are negative we should add them that is minus 10 n value is minus 10 here and next third question solution we are given 7 power 2n plus 1 divided by 49 is equal to 7 power 3 that is 7 power 2n plus 1 divided by 49 can be written as 7 square which is equal to 7 power 3 yes the LHS part can be written as 7 power 2n plus 1 by 7 square since we know that a divided by b nothing but a by b which is equal to 7 power 3 we have a formula that is a power m over a power n equal to a power m minus n if m is greater than n in LHS spot, we have 2n plus 1 as exponent in numerator, 2 as exponent in the denominator. Since it is 2 into something, multiple of 2 and adding 1. So therefore, we can say that 2n plus 1 is greater than 2. Since it is multiple of 2 and we are adding it to 1. So 2n plus 1 is greater than 2. So that by using this law of exponent, we can write LHS of this expression as 2n plus 1 minus 2, which is equal to 7 power 3. Simplify LHS at 7 power 2n plus 1 minus 2 equal to 7 power 3. That is 7 power 1 minus 2, that is equal to minus 1, which is equal to 7 power 3. And also we know that if a power m equal to a power n, that implies m equal to what? n. If bases are equal on both sides, then power should be equal. See here we have equal bases on LHS and RHS. Therefore, their power should be equal. That is 2n minus 1 equal to 3. 2n equal to transpose minus 1 to RHS side. We get 3 plus 1, 4. 2 1s are 2 2s are. 1 into n, n equal to 1, 2 in this case. Okay, students. Next question. Question number 7. Find x if 2 power minus 3 equal to 1 by 2 power x. Solution. We are given 2 power minus 3 equal to 1 by 2 power x. Since we know that a power minus m is equal to 1 by a power m or 1 by a power m can be expressed as negative exponent a power minus m that implies 2 power minus 3 is equal to 1 by 2 power x can be written as 2 power minus x since we know that negative exponent is the equal to reciprocal of its positive exponent so 1 by 2 power x can be written as 2 power minus x and also we know that if a power m equal to a power n, that implies m equal to what? n. That is 2 power minus 3 equal to 2 power minus 6. Both sides bases are equal, then power should be equal. That implies minus 3 equal to minus x. Multiply with negative sign to LHS and RHS, we get minus of minus 3 is equal to minus of minus 6. Minus of minus negativity of negative is positive that is 3 equal to negativity of negative that is positive x. So x value is 3 in this case. Next question, 8th one. Important question. Write down given expression 3 by 4 whole power minus 2 divided by 4 by 5 whole power minus 3 into 3 by 5 whole power minus 2 which is equal to, since we know that a by b whole power minus n equal to b by a 
होल पावर एन दे फोर बाई यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला दिस कैन बी डन एज थ्री बाय फोर होल पावर माइनस टू दट इज थ्री बाय फोर होल पावर माइनस टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर बाय थ्री होल पावर टू दे फोर इट इज रिटर्न एज फोर बाय थ्री होल पावर टू डिवाइडेड बाय सिमिलरली फोर बाय फाइव होल पावर माइनस थ्री कैन बी रिटर्न एज फाइव बाय फोर होल पावर पॉजिटिव एक्सपोनेंट थ्री into 3 by 5 whole power minus 2 can be written as 5 by 3 whole power 2 and also we know that a by b whole power m equal to a power m over b power m by using this formula this can be expressed as 4 by 3 whole square that is 4 power 2 over 3 power 2 divided by 5 power 3 over 4 power 3 of 5 power 2 over 3 power 2. Now 4 square over 3 square change the division symbol to multiplication symbol and consider the reciprocal of denominator that is 4 cube over 5 cube into 5 square over 3 square now rearrange the expression as follows in the numerator 4 square into 4 cube into we have 5 square over 3 square into 3 square over 5 cube yes rearrange the expression as follows and we know that a power m into a power n equal to a power m plus n that equal 4 square into 4 cube. Since bases are equal, in between symbol is multiplication, the one power should be added. 4 power 2 plus 3, that is 5. Over here also, bases are equal, in between symbol is multiplication, power should be added. 3 power 2 plus 2, that is 4, into. And also, we know that a power m over a power n equal to 1 by a power n minus m if n is greater than m or m is less than n. So since 2 is less than 3 by using this law of exponent it can be written as 1 by 5 power consider the difference of n and m that is 3 and 2 3 minus 2 is 1 that is called 4 power 5 into 1 4 power 5 over 3 power 4 into 5 power or nothing but 5. So it is the answer. Okay. Next question, ninth one. If m equal 3 and n equal 2, find the value of first one 9m square minus 10n cube, 2m square n square value, 2m cube plus 3m square minus 5m square n, m power n minus n power n. E.g. question, we have to replace m by 3 and n by 2 in each of the following expressions. Write down the given expression that is 9m square minus 10n cube 9 into m square replace m by 3 minus 10 into n cube replace n by 2 9 into 3 square nothing but 3 occurs 2 times in the product 3 3 are 9 10 into 2 occurs 3 times in the product 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 cube means 8 9 9s are 81 minus 10 8s are 80 which is equal to 1. The value of given expression is 1. Similarly, it is homework for you people. It is also homework for you people. Let us see the fourth question. Solution. Given expression m power n minus n power m. 
we have to replace m by 3, n by 2. m, replace m by 3, since we have m power n, n is equal to 2, minus, n is nothing but 2, power m, m is nothing but 3, which is equal to 3 square, that is 9, minus 2 q means 8, 9 minus 8 equal to what? 1. Okay, students, next and last question of exercise 4.1 as well as part 6. 10th question. Simplify and give reasons. 4 by 7 whole power minus 5 into 7 by 4 whole power minus 7. Solution. Write down given expression that is 4 by 7 whole power minus 5 into 7 by 4 whole power minus 7. Since we know that a by b whole power minus n equals b by a whole power n. Similar manner, 4 by 7 whole power minus 5 can be written as 7 by 4 whole power 5 and 7 by 4 whole power minus 7 can be written as 4 by 7 whole power 7. So substitute the values, 4 by 7 whole power minus 5, nothing but 7 by 4 whole power 5 into 7 by 4 whole power minus 7, nothing but 4 by 7 whole power 7. We know that a by b whole power m is equal to a power m over b power m by using this law of exponent. 7 by 4 whole power 5 can be written as 7 power 5 over 4 power 5 into 4 power 7 over 7 power 7. Now, this expression can be rearranged as 7 power 5 over 7 power 7 into 4 power 7 over 4 power 5. And we know that a power m by a power n is equal a power m minus n if m is greater than n and which is equal to 1 by a power n minus m if m is less than n by using these two formulas we can write that see here 7 is greater than 5 7 is greater than 5 that is m is less than n m is less than n we use this formula that is 1 by 7 power consider the difference of 7 and 5 that is 2 into here 7 is greater than 5 that is m is greater than n case a power m by a power n equal to a power m minus n that is 4 power consider the difference of 7 and 5 that is 2 which is equal to 4 square into 1 4 square over 7 square which is 4 square means 16 over 7 square means 7 7 are 14. So answer is 16 by 49. Okay students, this completes the part 6 of exponents and powers. In the next class, we will learn about scientific notation of very large numbers and very small numbers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a nice day.